Hi, my name is Henry Li. I'm now going to carve a mood seal for Linda Ann, uh, artist. Uh, this mood seal is um, a attitude called Xian uh, Yun, meaning uh, idle clot, literally. I'll explain later. And Ye. He, meaning wild, wild crane, wild crane, uh, idle or legal, literally, uh, this sh meaning sh legal, uh, at leisure, at leisure, or uh, idle, clouds, wild crane. Um, this attitude uh, you might translate into English as uh, um, nonchalantly or and concerned, coolly and concerned attitude. It's um, developed in um, the Middle Ages in China as the uh, uh, hermits live in uh, the villages uh, in uh, escape uh, from the society and uh, uh, like wild cranes. So it's a very cool kind of attitude like a free uh, moving or wandering clouds in the sky. So the clouds is a symbol of freedom. We we'll, we'll do this in a positive carving so the neg I mean the background will be carved out. I like to do some large and just test the stone. Okay, now I'm going to do this. Uh, first character is Xian. It has um, very subtle nuanced um, meanings in Chinese literature. I remember my uh, literature professor in college has spent a week talking about this this character um, and in various uh, literatures. Uh, poems and they, he compared uh, which um, poem or um, I said you know this concept is uh, uh, is you know described the the most leisure you know the leisure class or in in the ancient China, Chinese time is known as the the xian the um, free or uh, free time, and we call it xian time, right? So you, they have the time to, to write poetry or create art. So it is in this attitude, the attitude of uh, uh, art for the sake of art was developed in the in a Chinese uh, tradition, traditional art. So xian yin, or li uh, your cloud in the White crane is very common Chinese leisure, I mean, mood seal, or leisure seal, you might call it. The, the seal itself is called xian zhang, or leisure seal. You, you translate it in English as mood seal, but we call it leisure seal. So this is very hard to translate word. Xian. Uh, there's a word in English, I think, it, uh, called, uh, let me write this down. It's from French. It might be uh, correct. I'm not sure if you can tell me if it's uh, the same. Unconcerned, coolly uh, attitude. Coolly unconcerned attitude. Like some artist, very individualistic, sometimes um, arts for the arts of uh, for the sake of art. This is a good mood seal. So when you create art, you are not concerned with others' criticism 
or money or anything. <laughs> That's the kind of uh, attitude. Idols um, sometimes translate this word. It, it might mean waste of time, but uh, it's also mean you know the arts for the sake of art. There's no function or kind of uh, interest involved. Just do it for fun, right? That's the kind of attitude or mood. To develop this kind of mood is very important to free yourself, to lose yourself in Chinese brush painting or calligraphy or any art. If you're concerned too much, you cannot free to create. So I try to do this in this kind of mood. So thinking about the wandering clouds in the sky or the uh, the white cranes in the meshes. Several versions of this character, Ye or Wild. Uh, I used uh, a different word than this one. This one uh, has the field kind of. Uh, this different version I'm doing is has forest. I know Linda has the last name Lin, which is the top word for part. Uh, it means forest, so uh, it's more suitable for Linda, I guess with the forest radical in it. So mild. This character is very interesting. The clouds, the crop. The cloud look like a cloud. So. It's a pictograph. the birds vertical and the phonetic uh, section. Pronunciation. The pronunciation also has to do with the uh, bird. This, this part is like a bird. Okay, now this fun part, the bird. There's the first eye. Feather. 
this is the foot and feet. Just take out of the backgrounds. Okay. It's natural shape the stone, so you have to go with the flow of the natural you know the shape and the same attitude like uh, the floating clouds while the crown try to break the limit sometimes open the space a little bit let it go out some part curls and opening make all that line uneven not symmetrical right? I think I'm done. Just clean up a little bit. I will do an imprint. Okay, now I'm going to make a first stamp to see how this looks like. Try not to move. Hold it uh, very firmly. Okay. Beautiful, isn't it? I think uh, I'll just leave it as is. Okay, now I'm going to make an official imprint in the album next to the other two seals in this series that Linda commissioned me to do. Um, so we have uh, the empty mountain rain after and the clear water moon luminous and uh, finally this one the white crane with the uh, idle clouds That completes the three mood seals for Linda Ann in New Mexico. I'd like to thank again for your commission of doing this, and this is a really 
fun project and uh, really enjoyed it. Um, I hope everybody also enjoyed watching this series of uh, mood seals. Uh, got inspiration in your own art uh, creations. And uh, I like to show some uh, pieces uh, done by some paintings done by Linda with this uh, seal on, on it, maybe uh, how it look like. And in this uh, beautiful artworks. Next. Thank everybody for watching. Enjoy. Goodbye.